up guys, it's Haley here back from a little law enforcement legend and today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated gear bag. Um, I was watching a duty belt video today and I realized, oh, today I need to post for you guys. So I haven't done one of these in a few weeks, so I'm going to do a, um, a, um, gear bag update because I haven't done and it's been a while since I've done one, and it's changed a lot. So let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna start off right here with um, a badge. I got this from a police costume a year or two ago. It's just metal with the gold finish on it. It's a city police and with the eagle over it. So yeah, that's what we have for that one. Right here, I have my favorite pen. Uh, I can write statements, uh, report, or, yeah, I can write reports and traffic tickets with this pen. Right here, a pair of pliers. Um, can be used for anything. I just keep them there. I have a pencil, just in case I need to write something in pencil. Right here, I have a multi-tool. Uh, it has a blade on it, which is actually pretty sharp. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't want to get stabbed with it, but it's not going to, like, kill you. You don't want to get stabbed by it, but I don't think it's going to kill you. Well, you would have to go try hard to kill you, to kill yourself with this or kill somebody else. But, yeah, it's just got a, it's got a wine screw on there, and then I'm not actually sure what this is supposed to be. I think it's a bottle opener, and then it just folds into a little... Tool. I carry another one of these on my person as well when I'm on patrol. I have a pair of fake cuffs here. Um, they're fake because of the emergency release. And yeah, but they're I like them. They're chain cuffs. Um, they're in the um silver finish. So they're those are nice. And then the last thing I have is my spare handcuff key, which just goes into these handcuffs nicely. Let's open them up. Obviously, you don't actually need a key. Uh, I don't prefer to use one. I always just use the emergency release because I don't find a use in using keys, especially when they're very hard to get to. So going over to the side here, I have my... Um, I'll just take the whole carabiner off. I have a hat with a, uh, I can put the flag patch back on, but I don't have it on now. Um, I have some bottle openers and a Pismo, Pismo Beach. Um, keychain, I don't know, I just found these keychains and thought it would be cool to put on here. Obviously, I don't drink, I'm way too young to. I'm like 11 years away from drinking, not sure. Um, something like that, at least, a little less. Um, so in here, I have my traffic, um, vest, which is just a penny I got from soccer. Um, so these are used in soccer if you don't have, um, enough, or if you don't have enough players and you have to, like, forfeit some players to another team. Or, um, you have to force, the other team has to forfeit players, so you know that they're yours. Uh, you each get a penny, penny, and yeah. Right here, I have some, another pair of cuffs. I just showed you guys what they look like. These are the same exact ones they came in, like, a pack of 12. Um, I got them for my birthday party, and then when people didn't take them home and just left them, I took them home and cleaned them. And now I use them a lot. So on the other side here, this side is a little bit more interesting. Um, you have this, which is my police megaphone. Uh, I got this also for my birthday the same year. Um, right here. It's just small, but it works really well. Hello? Let me turn the volume up. Hello? And then you have the siren, which I'm going to turn it down because the siren's super loud. There's some of the siren. Pretty cool. The handle folds. 
And there you go. Um, right here, I have a Band-Aid in my first aid kit. This is a dog collar, but I use it as a tourniquet because it actually works pretty well as a tourniquet. You just take this part right here, slip it through. Sorry about the background noise, guys. That's my brother. And you can pull it so it doesn't, so it fits tight. Uh, and then in here is just a bandana to clean stuff off with, which I'm going to make into a math, mask um, for COVID-19, I believe, because I am I might go deliver a dog bed to a police dog that I had custom made. I'll show you guys that in a second once I'm done with the bag review. Um, but right here, I'm gonna open this. Um, I've taken a ton of stuff out of here because I just didn't need it in here. So it's kind of weak now. Um, right here's my evidence kit. I'm not going to pull everything out. It's got sticky notes. It's got tape. It's got evidence bags. It's got crime scene tape. And then it's got these, which you slip over your um, foot, uh, feet when you're, um, when there's blood or anything, you can always throw those on. I have a pen to write stuff down, a uh, measuring tape, and I, um, I'm actually going to take the measuring tape out because I need that, but uh, you have everything, and then you have your multi-tool, which I showed you guys already. Um, I thought I kept that on my person. I guess I moved it into here to cut the crime scene tape or something. Oh, and I have my top secret pen, which just uses a UV light. Um, I just have that in there. I bought it from a book fair at school. They sell, like, little things like that. Um, I have an extra pair of cuffs. Wipes, you never know when you're going to need these. I used them when my pen exploded. There's still ink on it. And right here is my Bay Fang Radio Manual. It's cool. And then, finally, my traffic book, which you guys can go check out another video to find it because I still want time in this video to show you guys the dog bed so let's put this all back oh and of course I have my spare flashlight or my mag light depending upon what you want to call it it's not as big as a mag, mag light but I don't know how many officers would actually carry this big of a flashlight on it but it's really bright it's made by Rayovac and it's lead so yeah all goes back in here um anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video i'm i'm gonna show you guys the um dog bed in a second that i'm gonna be giving to a police dog in my area i'm not gonna show you guys the department you guys could actually probably figure it out but i just don't for privacy reasons i don't really want you guys knowing where i exactly live at so yeah so that's basically the gear bag. And I'm gonna go grab the dog bed for you guys. All right, so moving this aside, this is the dog bed right here. It is a cardboard box, um, but I painted it this morning to say the police dog's name, Zoe. On the back here, it says canine. And Zoe again. It is pink and um, yellow. Inside it's white. Um, and on the bottom it's also white. Everything inside is white. Um, right here, uh, I just used an old rug and to elevate it, I have an old towel under it. I wash this to make sure it's clean. Uh, there's some dog bones in here for her to chew on. Canine Zoe, and then uh, her favorite, which is a ball. Here's Canine Zoe. She looks like this. She's a German short-haired pointer. Um, pretty cool dog. I, I've never met her before, so I'm excited to give this to her. Um, I had an extra cord cardboard box and was kind of bored, and I made a dog bed out of it, and I'm going to deliver it to Canine Zoe soon. Um, on Monday, we're going to see if we can call... Um, the department who um, has her 
and we'll see if we can meet up sometime and give it back to her. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, share this video with all your friends, and peace out. Goodbye, guys.